Hello, today is Tuesday, June 11th, 2019. I'm Joe Schmidt with TC2, and this is Staying Connected. For nearly 20 years, the lawyers of LB3 and consultants of TC2 have been running conferences to share our knowledge of the telecom and information communications technology market. We always receive positive feedback from the attendees, and this year we expanded the number of conferences and we added Atlanta as a destination city. Our next conference in the series will be in London, England on July 9th, and that will be followed by our Minneapolis conference on September 10th, and then we wrap up the conference series in New York City on November 5th. On today's podcast, I'm joined by Mark Sheard, who is one of the hosts of the London conference, and Larry York, who is one of the Minneapolis conference hosts. And we're going to talk a bit about the background to the conference series and give some insights into some of the conference topics. Okay, Mark, the London conference is less than a month away, so maybe you can start by giving us some of the reasoning for the conference series. Hi, Joe. Thank you and good afternoon. For some time, TC2 and LB3 have contributed to conferences seeking to give telecom and ICT insights to the benefit of enterprise customers. In fact, for many years, we hosted a very successful biannual three-day telecom and ICT negotiations conference. We think that conference has run its course now, and now we're making the latest thinking even more accessible to enterprises. So our conferences now are focused on providing useful insights and implementable advice based on our experience of working with large and medium enterprise customers in this market. Advice that we hope will help these enterprises stay ahead of the demand for network and ICT cost savings or successfully execute transformations in today's ever-changing market. Now, as you mentioned, for several years, we've run the one-day conference in New York, and this is an enterprise-only conference that generates a huge amount of energy and discussion. And we wanted to bottle that feeling and make tailored content accessible to customers who perhaps couldn't make New York, hence Atlanta, London, and Minneapolis. And those events have been specifically tailored to customers' feedback and with nothing but the investment from themselves of their time. So, Larry, I often speak at our conferences, and I agree with what Mark said, that we provide a lot of great information to the attendees. Yes, thanks, Joe. You're right, and we do. These conferences, certainly as we have promoted, they're free and only require a half day of our attendees' time in return for a tremendous amount of truly valuable content. It's really the question, why wouldn't you go? Collectively, between TC2 and LB3, we commit experts in the telecom and ICT space to each conference to ensure and present the latest thinking and provide best practice insights and knowledge. And this knowledge and the expertise that is shared is straight from our experience, straight from the trenches without any pulled punches, right? So not a bunch of theory. It's based on real-life experience and the deals that we're doing every day. And I should emphasize that these conferences are enterprise only. There are no suppliers in attendance. There's no selling parties in attendance and provide an excellent opportunity to mix with your peer groups from other like-sized enterprises. And if your topic isn't on the agenda, presenters are absolutely willing to give what advice they can in the margins of the conference over lunch or at the reception. It's very casual and really is conducive to us interacting with those that attend. So what's the theme for this year's London conference, Mark? Joe, the theme is delivering innovation and cost savings through network service deals. Of course, we as an organization are about helping to focus enterprises on driving continuous cost improvements. It's what we do. But we also know that in the telecom and ICT space, it's a time of transformation with such technologies as SD-WAN and increasing amount of cloud services, completely changing the dynamics in this space. So anything that helps enterprises navigate through these transformations that they are facing is clearly going to be extremely useful. So this is another key part of what we're aiming to deliver. I think it's important to emphasize the point that saving on network costs, it's really a mindset that really does require constant focus. To be successful, you can't just think about cost savings as an event to squeeze out some savings. Okay, Mark, what are some of the different areas that we'll be covering at the London Conference on July 9th? Okay, so the conference is designed to tackle two main themes. And for each of these themes, there are three sessions within the half day, and those sessions alternate throughout the conference. London will have a global and a European-specific spin to reflect the type of customers we support. If we look at three sessions for the first theme, this will cover general guidance on best practice and changes in the marketplace. 
We'll draw examples from a variety of different telecom and ICT areas. This is going to be useful across a lot of different topics. So in terms of looking at the sessions, we'll have the first session, we'll look at today's market trends and what's taking place to set the scene. Then we'll have a session that will lay out some of the most effective strategies for driving continuous cost improvement. And this will all be complemented with a third session, which will provide some insightful guidance on what you can actually do when things go bad with a deal. Spread between these general sessions, the second theme of the conference will comprise deeper dives on some really relevant key service areas and technology areas. So one of these will relate to the transformational topics of SD-WAN and Internet transport aggregation as they are key to Internet first strategies. Then we'll also take a fresh look at SIP trunking, particularly with the increasing move to centralized full PSDN replacement SIP trunking, which has re-energized the SIP market. And look at some of the opportunities and the challenges this presents. And then finally, there'll be a Europe-specific session, which will look at the ever-changing mobile services space, which needs frequent attention to ensure that you actually maximize the benefits of your spend. So, Larry, you've helped organize and run the Minneapolis conference the last couple of years. Do you want to add anything to that? Yes, Joe. Actually, I have a couple points I'd like to share. And first being, I think it's worth emphasizing that while the sessions are packed full of great content and delivery will be fast-paced, we jokingly talk about this as drinking from a fire hose. The approach is really a mix of delivering nuggets that can really make a difference alongside giving attendees, many of whom are experts themselves, different perspectives that allow them to bring some new ideas to their own environment. Next, I would say, and if you want to relook at the detail afterwards, after the conference, we do provide all of the material in a handbook to the attendees. And specifically for London, I know we have a great team, including Mark and two of our other managing directors. It's also taking place at a fantastic venue, the RAF Club in Piccadilly. And if there was an entry fee, it would be worth it just for that. Yes, absolutely, Larry, although perhaps I'm a little bit biased as a retired Royal Air Force engineering officer. Anyway, my final point, I think I'd just like to reiterate what Larry mentioned. There's lunch on arrival and a reception after. So there's really plenty of opportunities to ask questions on specific topics that matter to you. And if we don't answer them in the sessions, we will be delighted to answer any questions you have later on. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm sure the London and Minneapolis conferences, as well as New York, are going to be great events. If you're interested in attending any of the conferences, there's information on the TC2 and LB3 websites. And if we sent you our client advisory email letting you know about this podcast, there will also be a link in the email. The London conference is next up, so if you know someone in the UK who might want to attend or could benefit from the sort of insights we'll provide, please feel free to pass on the conference details to them. If you're unable to make any of the conferences but would like to learn more about these topics or you want to discuss your telecom and ICT lifecycle needs, please give us a call or drop us an email. You can also stay current by checking out our websites or follow us on LinkedIn.